Leo nataka niwape feedback ya hii gari. Last week or like two weeks ago I told you that I had changed the gearbox of this car and I want to give you some feedback after using it for a week and a half. You know when you change gearbox it is not something small it is something very major. And sometimes depending on the on the quality of the gearbox you get on how best it fits into the car you can have various outcomes. <clears throat> so I, I I don't need to open the car or to open the the bonnet to show you anything about it. But there are a few things that I want to explain to you. The gearbox that I replaced, it triggered a lot of reaction online because some people are saying replacing a second-hand gearbox is very inefficient. It will be as bad as the one that I removed. But this is what I want to tell people, that you can get a very good second-hand gearbox. There are gearboxes that come from Japan, from cars that have been dismantled and exported in form of parts. There are two ways. When a car leaves Japan, it can live as a whole good, as a car like this one, and then it is fitted into, into the shipping boats, or what we call Roro, roll on, roll over. This one is in a drive in the kwa hizo nini? Zinaitango aje? Kwa hizo meli. Ama inakuwa dismantled, then it is fitted into the container. So it is brought in form of spare parts. It inaweza pata side mirror, unaweza pata wings, unaweza pata you know front lights, every part can be dismantled and sold separately. So what I got is a dismantled gearbox. So I took it and I fitted it in here. I went to industrial area, I bought it at 40,000 Kenya shillings. It fitted perfectly and one week and a half using it this car has gone back to productivity. It has gone back to being a normal car that, you know, has normal gear shift that is not slow to selecting the right gear for the right terrain. So the only issue that this car has caused for the time that I have changed the gearbox is only fuel consumption. Normally, this car was averaging 22 kilometers per liter when you drive within Nairobi, but right now it is averaging between 17 and 19 kilometers per liter. That is quite, you know, a significant loss in terms of fuel consumption. So meaning that I will be losing three kilometers for every liter of fuel that I put in here. For my driver, that is something already big. He's already feeling the heat. But uh, for me, I think uh, it's something that we can try to, to, to put up with because, you know, it has saved the life of this car. What else has changed since the replacement of the gearbox? Definitely you will feel that the car has improved the power. So the way it is pulling and, you know, behaving uphill and when you are carrying more than two people behind, you feel that the gearbox has improved in terms of power. So you don't have to really press the, the fuel pedal so hard so that it can, it can respond to the terrain. So that is another improvement which was not there with the old gearbox. So what has it costed me in terms of, in terms of money? 40,000 is quite a lot. It will take me maybe one and a half month to recover that money. But then I am happy, as I have mentioned, that this car has come back to life. And if I can just show you around, if you can zoom for people to see the whole of this car, this is a car that I still believe has another three years of life that, you know, it will continue giving me money. And I don't have anything that, you know, I can, you know, I can regret about spending all the money I spent buying the gearbox. So... If you want to go with these cars, as I mentioned, the biggest issue with them is the CVT transmission, continuous variable transmission. So meaning that this car has uh, endless, endless numbers of gears. So for every terrain, whether you are going up the bump, going down small terrain, every terrain with its, with its topography, there will be a gear for it. And that's why it is called continuous other cars they have what we call the manual gears in as much as the driver's area is automatic inside you will find that it is manual so the, the the gearbox has a limited number of gears maybe it is operating with five forward gears or six forward gears and one reverse gear in as much as it is automatic but for this continuous variable transmission it has endless number of gears and that creates a big, big problem when mechanics come to troubleshooting it. 
I took it to people who I consider experts in the industry, people that are very, very well known in terms of advising drivers, the tech guys with regard to car technology. And they told me that my brother, no need to spend time trying to work on this gearbox. It doesn't mean it cannot be repaired. It doesn't mean, you know, they don't have the knowledge and the know-how, but it will cost me more money trying to repair it than replacing. And in my view, I think it has worked so far. All, all good, we thank God. And maybe I'll be back here after maybe a month and give you some, some extra feedback on how, on how things look like. So, but then this car, I'm also, you know, planning maybe to sell it after three years. As you can see it around, it's uh, still very clean. After three years, I'll sell it into the market so you can keep following uh, on this channel and know when I will put it out on offer. I will not sell it that much, maybe 400k after another two, three years. And then you can uh, use it for your, you know, you can replace the gearbox or the engine, whatever will have the issue at that time. And then you can use it for another one or two years. Actually, these cars can, these cars can last forever if you, you have, you take the habit of, you know, servicing it and, you know, giving it what it is asking for. But don't be in a hurry to just uh, release it to anyone who wants to buy it whenever a problem is developed. So, still very nice car. I hope you can have the, the view from the back. But right now, the cameraman is a bit far. But I can tell you, even people who see my driver with this car, they always say that this is a car that is very well maintained. So, that's all the feedback I wanted to give you today. And um, I hope you keep subscribing to this channel for more information like this one. And if you have any questions or comments on mechanics that you know, on people that you know who are experts at repairing gearboxes, I would really, really appreciate. A lot of um, people who own this car, Suzuki Alto, have reached out to me saying that if I can ask experts or any mechanic out there watching this video and you are an expert in CVT transmission repairs, please reach out to me and I will connect you immediately to like three people who want your services right now. So for now is a goodbye and let's keep subscribing to this channel. Goodbye.